What do you think, Finn? Okay, check it out. I'm on a push bike. Uh, just about to get some food. I feel like shit. My nose is all blocked up and everything. I don't know why I'm telling you this. But we got a couple of books. I didn't get any of my pull list this week. But we got a couple of books, so we're going to have a look at those. Oh, it's autumn as fuck out here. This is uh, my college bedroom. Ugh. Right, how's it going? I feel like shit. My wife has no sympathy for me. So we got some... A couple of things here. I'm trying to think what I want to do. Yeah, okay, I'll do it like this. So, I got... I found... I found a lassie online selling a heap of books. Um, all for two ninety nine, um, and she said she's got more to put up. So, I I got this for two ninety nine, Brave and the Bold number ninety eight. It's not like a major key or anything, but it's a cool cover. It's not signed. I'm not sure who it is, but it could be. It could be a Wrightson cover. I'd have to look into it though. It's not the best condition, but I mean two ninety nine. Was it nineteen seventy one or something like that? So cool. Wait and see what else she puts up. If they're all kind of early Bronze Age stuff, that would be awesome. Uh, I, I, I definitely haven't shown this. This is uh, the Terminator one shot. So it's the second. It's called one shot. It's not. It is a one shot, but this story is actually called one shot. But uh, it's the second Terminator story from Dark Horse. I can't remember what the other company was now. Now something like that. They had a Terminator book as well. But this is written by James Robinson. Uh, art by Matt Wagner. And I was delighted with this in the middle. There's a like pop up thing. Oh shit. Hang on, we're back. We're back in the game. Yeah, there's this kind of pop up. I don't know how well that's coming across, but it's a Terminator on the motorbike. But yeah, this is good good read if uh, you can find it. It kind of runs along the same I think it's the same time as Terminator One. It's uh a different Sarah Connor and a different Terminator. They've kind of sent a couple to try and wipe out all the Sarah Connors. Anyway, cool story. And yeah, finally I got this. Uh, looks like it's going to be a good, uh, good wee six-parter. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to have it. Uh, I'm kind of picking up. I need to not just pick up everything, which is what I seem to be doing. Like all these little six parters and stuff. I should really be getting indie books. But I find myself getting bogged down with them as well. I, I just, I don't know. A time in my life for change. Um, this I bought after Rob Wise Guy mentioned this author in a video months ago now. Uh, Jun, Junji Ito. Uh, and then uh, the Frog Queen showed this in her live stream and I bought it straight away so that's the perils of the of YouTube but yeah I'm smashing it nailing uh, yeah it's one of those mad back but backwards books isn't it so I'm nearly done I've actually been slowing down on it not wanting to to finish it the arts ace so there's another two that are like done like this Uz Uzo Maki Uzo Maki and what's the other one called? Gear, something like that. I'm gonna pick those up uh, at the end of the month. So I'm just, if anybody's got recommendations for more stuff like this, I just want. I know a lot of mangas. Um, I'm, I collect the Lone Wolf and Cub books, but there's like fucking thirty of them or something. I don't want. I want something like this, like a one and done, but a decent size. I don't want. Uh, to have to pick up like 40 of these things just to get the whole story so if anyone's got any ideas recommendations in the uh, comments please and finally I don't have the comic yet because I didn't get any bloody books this weekend but I got a postcard from Mage so 
my letter will be in issue three, which is awesome. Um, and it's signed, thanks for writing twice. Little does he know I'm going to write after every issue. But there you go, little hand uh, personalised postcard from Matt Wagner. So cool. Right, that's the books. Let's go see what else is going on. Okay, so I've been having some problems with the phone. It's um, like the front microphone's not working very well. So I've managed to find some headphones that have got a little microphone on them. So I'm going to try using that. Well, I wanted to try using that, but I immediately forgot them. So they're still sitting at home. But I'll have used them in that last bit. So hopefully that works a bit better. Um, the rear mic still works really well. It's just this front one that's a bit uh, temperamental. Go on. So yeah, we'll just um, see how we go. Let's go and have a look at something else. Okay, so also this week I managed to find a paperback of Ready Player One, a new kind of new printing, I guess. I don't know. I, I actually have no idea. This could be what the original looks like. I've got no idea. But I got it for a pound. So if anybody wants a copy, give me a shout. I actually heard that he was writing a, a second one, or that he might be writing a second one, Ready Player Two, uh, about what happens after. Uh, which is like, for the most 80s book ever written, perfect to have a shitty sequel. So hopefully it happens. I hope it's not shit, but it possibly will be. I bought his other book, uh, Armada. I didn't realise it was hardback until I got it through the door. I got it from a used bookstore for like £2. £2.80. Uh, so there you go. This was really cool. Not as instantly uh, accessible as... Ready Player One, but still really cool. Oh, I've never actually looked at that. So it's about the game called Armada, obviously. But there's like a, a conspiracy that all sci-fi movies and books and video games has all been a government plan to train fighter pilots for a alien invasion. And that's basically what happens. I don't know why I'm showing you that, there's nothing on it. But yeah, that's basically what happens in this guy, the guy who, uh, well, they basically just land spaceships, uh, flying ships all over America, picking folk up, all the best video game players, and take them to this place so they can fly these remote uh, operated fighter jets and stuff. So anyway, that's what it's about. It's a lot better than making it sound, but uh, yeah, check that out if you're looking for something to read. Right guys, that's everything this week. Uh, sorry, it's a bit of a shorter one. Um, but I've done so much videos this week, so uh, yeah, we'll see you for the next one.